So without further ado, I'll just with anything, just like um, the voice of Islam, when it hits the hour mark, they always have a news round. Uh, so I'll just go to Gassim for now, and we'll get over the news because there's been a lot happening, especially today, with especially with the politicians. But we don't want to go too much into that. But Gassim will give us the real news that that means something. So please, Gassim, if you could just share your screen, and then we'll we'll do that, and then we'll go over to the next segment, please. Jazakallah. Assalamualaikum. Welcome to K News. Sorry, I had to remove that. Uh, I think it's a little old now. But, so first, I would like to everyone to uh, point out to. Uh, I, I believe this is a, a MD uh, website. We have the analysts, and they produce articles on various topics, uh, everyday topics, and they produce various topics on politics, sports, technologies, economics. I often read things from there, so I would highly suggest everyone to uh, check it out. They also have a Telegram. I'm not sure how you can join, but if anyone has more information, please do share it. It's called The Analyst. Now we have a uh, UK news in HD. So uh, 43 have million had had first dose, uh, 32 had second dose, uh, 90,000 cases, 99% uh, of which, which are the Delta variant, and a lot of them are younger individuals. Jokes on us, now we're the COVID target. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, COVID pandemic is growing and younger people are being affected a lot more. Uh, recent news, uh, anti-obesity anti drive, uh, any junk food adverts will be uh, banned, uh, which I don't know about. Uh, Jeff Bezos <clears throat> wants to make a nuclear fusion plant in UK. Uh, UK is not ready for climate change. And today's news, uh, contradictory to what Mrobisov said, I do apologize. Uh, Matt Hancock under fire over alleged affair with close aid with Gina. Now, uh, the bigger news, is, the bigger case is that Hancock is a uh, the leading person for COVID regulations and uh, kind of the main chief officer for a regular talking about COVID rules. And then here he is breaking the very rules, so which is kind of creating a big uproar in the politics. And people are kind of wondering why has this be man not been fired? This has been going on for about two weeks as well, which various texts, even the Queen commenting on Hancock being weak. And then we have the uh, Prime Minister's Boris Johnson's text claiming that Hancock is not a good person. Now he has some sports. Uh, Euro 2021 have picked off for two weeks. Uh, I believe tomorrow we have two more matches. Uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo leads uh, first player for scoring five goals with Emil uh, coming in second place with only three goals. Also, strangely enough, Portugal uh, is also uh, third place, which is a bit off. Uh, from what I can uh, make of this is, I think it's because as the team does really bad, the players in the unique players in it shine a lot. So I feel like Cristiano is really carrying Portugal, and if he wasn't there, okay, Portugal would be dead lost. Uh, also, quarterfinals start at July second, so that's a day to look forward to. England, while sipping tea, uh, easily qualified, and I think Scotland's at this point is off the charts. I think only has one point right now on the board. Uh, Cumbria's uh, Wayne Rice record broken by runner Sabrina Virgi. Uh, a fellow runner has broken the record for completing all of the Cumbria's 214 Wayne Rice peaks in less than six days. And it was a 525 kilometer route and she completed in five days, 23 hours and 49 minutes. A bit of science. Now bringing in from the uh, icy uh, Southern Antarctic National Geographic now adds up a fifth ocean to world map. That's one more ocean we're going to have to remember now. And they announced that it was the body of water encircling the Antarctic as the Earth's fifth ocean, and it's called the Southern Ocean, uh, partly being because of how the water moved uh, differently in a different, I, I believe it was like a clockwise direction. And there was also like the temperature and a lot of factors that go into it while make, determining the fifth ocean. Uh, mapping uh, now 20% of the global ocean floor has now been mapped now soon even the fish might be able to use GPS and can go anywhere. <laughs> now
now for some entertainment, uh, boxing influencers and NFT share the stage as YouTubers and TikTokers fighting the battle of the platforms. LiveX Live Media, global platform for platform for live streams and on-demand content, is winning on social gloves battle of the platform stars from YouTube and TikTok will face off in a series of boxing matches at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Uh, a giant Buddhist statue gets COVID face masks in Japan. Uh, 57 Buddhist statue is dedicated to the goddess of Mer uh, mercy. Can Kanon in central Japan has been draped with a giant face covering to promote her COVID regulation. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo uh, uh, removes a bottle of Coca-Cola from his table, leading to 4 billion loss of uh, money for in Coca-Cola. And similarly, uh, Paul Bogba, who is a Muslim uh, footballer, removes the beer bottle from uh, your uh, conference. Uh, we have informative uh, news. Uh, how can you make your home eco-friendly? Uh, now, first of all, uh, obviously, uh, few, uh, there, these are some tips that you can do to improve the energy usage in your house, one of them which is insulation. So uh, with insulation, you can cut as much as 15% of your, uh, save as 15% of your heat. So I think it would be uh, really good if you insulate your house. And overall, 22% of uh, UK's uh, 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 energy uh, is used in housing. So it's really good to save. Another form of uh, eco-friendly is using solar panels. Now, solar panels can uh, deduct as much as 27% of your uh, money that goes into energy. So it's a really worthwhile investment to put solar panels in your house. Now, it, it doesn't really matter uh, what uh, side your roof uh, is facing on. Uh, you can, uh, although southern facing roofs work better, any, uh, for any uh, direction can work. A bit of miscellaneous use. Don't worry, I intentionally leave that wrong because I didn't know the spelling. So I just said, okay, I'll just write this down. Uh, US Navy uses 40,000 uh, explosive to test the warship uh, around the USS Gerald Air Ford. Don't worry, no fish were harmed in making of this uh, operation. It takes one fish for them to stop this 100,000, uh, a million dollar project. Yeah, it, it, it takes a million dollar to run the uh, carrier. <laughs> and then one fish is enough for them to stop this whole thing. Uh, a disaster uh, news, uh, Canada, uh, more 751 Amma graves have found in residential school. An indigenous nation, Canada says it has found 751 unmarked graves at the site of former residential school in Saskatchewan. Uh, so what these schools are, if anyone wants to know that there used to be a, a, a kind of a, a forced assimilation school where uh, children from uh, uh, indigenous background so the <clears throat> indigenous background they were kind of like from migrant uh, they were migrated from other countries and they uh, were kind of more cultural people and they weren't kind of used to uh, kind of employing and working education they were forced into these uh, uh, schools and they were kind of uh, 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 forced to uh, live there and study there. and the conditions there were really horrible uh, which led to thousands of deaths uh, Miami building collapses, which uh, it has, uh, and 51 people are unaccounted for. At least one person has died and 51 other are uncounted after the collapse of an overnight of a 12-story residential building in North of Miami. Uh, Jamati News. Uh, I would also, again, uh, ask everyone to subscribe to Tariq Magazine. Uh, I believe our newest edition has been Im improved. Uh, and it will be soon be ordered. So if you want, if you want to get it, you, you should definitely uh, buy a subscription. Uh, an interesting uh, uh, topic: the Dajjal, the anti belief, uh, episode eighteen. Uh, Dajjal, the one-eyed monster, prophesying hadith, is here. Who is the Dajjal? Why is the Dajjal here? And if you want to watch this video, you can watch this in YouTube MTA channel. Uh, Recently, uh, Majid Khudam al released a, a new book, The Great Western Revival. If you haven't ordered it, I will highly suggest everyone to order it now. And it's a, a very good book. I haven't received it yet, but I'm really interested to uh, read it. 
uh, as you all were aware, uh, the, on Saturday and Sunday, the, we, had, they held, we held the God Summit, which was a whole full day event. And honestly, it was really good with a lot of interesting topics. It's basically like the Jalsa. You get the whole day of very interesting topics and everything. So I would highly suggest everyone to check out the videos in the Ruby Religions channel and uh, do watch it and listen to it. Uh, now for uh, this week with Hazur. Another AMLA member asked Hazur about his recent guidance that Ahmadi youth should avoid the online game Fortnite. Fortnite is a good idea. ਕਿਸਮੇ <laughs> So the lesson we can take from this is uh, you should avoid playing any sort of games and rather instead of playing games you should spend time in praying to Allah or helping the Jamaat. And this goes for all types of games. I mean, I've, I even had friends who, who MD friends that I met in the uh, Ishtamaat, and they tell me, yeah, I don't play Fortnite, but instead they replace it for Call of Duty. I said, it's the same thing. Hazoo is not gonna spend this time naming every game out there for you to not to play. Instead, you should, uh, rather than playing those games, you should indulge in prayers. Zakala, that's it for uh, this Kenyans. I hope everyone enjoyed. Dear Zakala, got some very, very good and good roundup of, of various different types of, of news items. Um, and brilliant, uh, just to finish off with Hazur's guidance and words. Um, brilliant. So um, that brings us to the end of, end of the news section.